Coming up next on the newest edition of The Real Footage Show, we're going to be sharing the legacy and laughter of the classic television show, The Dick Van Dyke Show, from its beginning to end and its legacy on DVD. Coming up next in this new edition of The Real Footage Show. Stay tuned. Hello and welcome to The Real Footage Show. I'm Tim Davis. Today we're going to be discussing one of television's most classic and fan favorite TV shows of all time that happens to be The Dick Van Dyke Show. The Dick Van Dyke Show originally debuted in the fall, October of 1961 and ran for five continuous seasons until 1966. Over the course of those five years, the show was filmed entirely in black and white, but halfway throughout the show's run, the producers and creators were trying to get the show to turn to color uh, which was possible at the time, but due to extreme costs of uh, producing television in color at that time, it was uh, not too feasible. So the show went through its five-season run in black and white. However, it would be very interesting to see the Dick Van Dyke show in color. Now, it all begins with the Petries. There's Rob Petrie, played by Dick Van Dyke, Laura Petrie, played by Mary Tyler Moore, and their son, Richie, played by Larry Matthews. And then there are the helpers, the next-door neighbors of the Petries, which are Jerry Helper, played by Jerry Paris, and Millie Helper, played by Ann Morgan Gilbert. And then over to the Alan Brady Show staff, we have the, uh, the boss of the Alan Brady Show, played to perfection by Carl Reiner. And we have the producer of the Alan Brady Show, Mel Cooley, played by Richard Deacon. And uh, two of Rob's best friends and writers on the Alan Brady Show staff, we have um, Rosemarie, who plays the part, of Sally Rogers and Maury Amsterdam who plays the part of Buddy Sorrell. It's an iconic uh, cast of characters uh, and uh, it's the, the chemistry of the cast that makes the show so unique and makes it so timeless. That's one of the reasons why it's a personal favorite of mine as well. Now as I said over the course of those five years the show came up with some very interesting and unforgettable episodes. Who could forget the classic episode Coast to Coast Big Mouth where Mary Tyler Moore uh, uh, Laura Petrie tells the entire world on television that Alan Brady is bald. Another classic episode features a very uh, sci-fi dream sequence featuring uh, walnuts and it may look like a walnut which features a special appearance by Danny Thomas. There's the classic and elaborate Christmas holiday special uh, titled The Alan Brady Show Presents which features the entire Alan Brady Show staff and family putting on a variety Christmas program. And one of my personal favorites the classic episode titled A Ghost of A Chance, which uh, premiered in one of the later seasons of the show, which features the entire gang up at a haunted log cabin. It actually was a special that the Alan Brady Show was trying to do to recreate the show Candid Camera. Very, very interesting show, and uh, it's uh, a laugh a minute. Uh, if you are totally new to the show and seeing it for the first time, you're in for a very a special treat or if you are just watching it over and over again continuously in reruns it never gets tiresome in my personal opinion the show uh, still is as fresh today as the day when it originally aired in the 1960s now the program is available in many different formats for you to watch it is still uh, syndicated throughout the world on various cable TV networks uh, you could also see the show on DVD each season of the show uh, is presented in single season box sets. There's also available for uh, the, uh, the customer the complete box set of all five seasons and the show as of recent has also been released onto a Blu-ray format. For myself the Dick Van Dyke show became an instant hit for me when I first discovered it back in the early 1990s on Nick at Night. The show was being broadcasted in reruns on the channel at the time, and coincidentally also around the same time, Nick at Night made Dick Van Dyke the chairman of the network, which he was for many years. There also was a very special uh, moment in Nick at Night history when Nick at Night presented Dick Van Dyke hosting, hosting his favorite uh, chairman picks, his favorite episodes of the series. And each night of the week, he would uh, bring out a, a VHS tape and uh, they would uh, present the show to you in a very unique and creative way, only the way Nick and I could have done at that time. 
Um, the Dick Van Dyke show ran on Nick and Knight from the early 1990s up until the early 2000s, almost a 10 to 11 year run for the show. And then immediately following its huge success on uh, Nick at Night, it transferred over to TV Land, where it also spent many years on the network's roster uh, programming schedule. Nowadays, the show could also be found on networks like MeTV, as well as uh, various episodes here and there on the internet, like on YouTube, or as I mentioned, on uh, the uh, DVD releases. The Dick Van Dyke Show is indeed a classic because of the, the chemistry between the stars. Uh, the timing is all perfect uh, between the jokes and the storylines. There is uh, many memorable moments and uh, many memorable characters over the years, too, like uh, Buddy's wife, Pickles. And uh, Frank Adamo is also featured in many of the uh, episodes, which is a stand-in for Dick Van Dyke. He's also um, known as uh, in the show as a character actor. Uh, for example, if uh, they are um, at an auction... He would be one of the people seated in the audience. Or if uh, there was a game show going on, he'd be one of the members of, of the audience at the game show. Uh, the show featured many special features like that. And there even also was a time when Nick at Night would make special promos and commercials that would point out such things as that. Um, as I mentioned, uh, the Ghost of a Chance episode, the Haunted Log Cabin episode, is one of my favorites because it's, it's also like, um, a combination of an Alfred Hitchcock Presents episode mixed in with the sitcom like The Dick Van Dyke Show, where you don't really know what's going on until the very end, and you realize that they were filming the whole thing. Uh, n not so much to scare, you know, uh, Alan uh, Brady's staff members and family, but to just to see how they would be if that really was a situation like that. One by one, we slowly see them disappear, and we all see at the end that uh, a camera is set up in the, uh, in the uh, closet of this uh, log cabin. Uh, I remember when I was real young, that episode sort of uh, uh, scared me in, in a way because, uh, you know, when, when you're young, your mind thinks in different ways. But as the years went on, I, I really enjoyed seeing that episode continuously over and over again. And uh, I really cannot say how many times I have seen that episode from beginning to end, but it has to be at least over 100 times that I've seen that episode uh, over the course of the uh, many years that have gone by. So the Dick Van Dyke Show is indeed a classic. Uh, we promote it uh, a lot on my Facebook page, uh, Tim Davis on, on Facebook. Uh, we feature uh, many special moments from the show as well as cast photos and the theme song. And um, it, it definitely is a true classic. For us here uh, at home, the program ran continuously for us as well for uh, all five seasons. We showed the program once a week and it took us quite a number of years to finish. Uh, but it was like watching it back in its original one, waiting for it to come on week after week. Uh, the Dick Van Dyke Show uh, is uh, legendary because of its iconic cast, its storylines, and its great writing. Gary Marshall, uh, who created shows like uh, Happy Days and The Odd Couple, and uh, Mork and Mindy, uh, was a writer on many of the episodes. And also, let's not forget, too, the opening sequence of the show. In the very first season, the Dick Van Dyke Show opening title card screen would feature a, uh, a photo uh, folder, and it would flash photos of the, the cast members of the show. That would, however, change in the later seasons. Beginning with season two and on, Dick Van Dyke, as seen on the screen here, would come through the door and uh, say hello to his family while Buddy and Sally were already there to greet him. You never knew what was going to happen. Week after week, fans would never know if he would trip over that ottoman or would he sidestep it. Sometimes also he would uh, uh, trip over the rug or he would shake uh, Buddy's hands twice. It, it was very interesting. My favorite, of course, uh, was when he would trip totally, completely over the ottoman. Dick Van Dyke has been known for his uh, physical comedy and, of course, his uh, dancing and building as well as, as, uh, well as um, Mary Tyler Moore, Rosemary, and Maury Amsterdam. The vaudeville acting uh, also uh, collided with that chemistry formula that made the show so unique. Uh, Mary Tyler Moore and Dick Van Dyke sang, uh, sang a lot in uh, many of the episodes. A lot of dancing also went on as well. And it was indeed a, a true treasure to see so much of that chemistry come together to create such a classic show. That's what makes the Dick Van Dyke show so well. And we're so glad that we are able to share that with you. Now, of course, we're not able to mention every little tiny thing here, being that this is not scripted. So we, we could have left a few things out maybe that you wanted to have heard. Uh, but uh, to, just to bring up the fine points of a show uh, that uh, that still to this day in the uh, 2010s 
makes audiences still laugh and still continue to tune into the show is incredible, being that it's uh, some 30, 40, 40, 50 years ago that the program originally debuted, and it's still being talked about to this day. Uh, there have also, over the years, have been cast reunions of the program where the cast got together to, and the set was recreated to talk about the show. And um, many networks have presented specials over that, uh, including CBS, TV Land, and Nick at Night as well. So thank you for joining us for a look into the Dick Van Dyke Show, one of television's most classic television series next to I Love Lucy and others. Uh, it was indeed a, uh, a pleasure sharing this information with you. And until next time, I'm Tim Davis. Thank you for joining us for another uh, informative and entertaining edition of The Real Footage Show. Bye-bye. It's Variety, The Real Footage.